Hey everyone, Joy from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using easy transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of the song specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sounds of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for the song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This patch has piano, pads, bass, and synth all triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here to here. Then when song section control is all the way down or up at one third, you'll have piano from here all the way up to here, to that whole range. And then as you move song section control up to two thirds, right hand will play a lead part up here. So that will start from this key to there. You'll start the song with song section control all the way down for intro, verse, pre-chorus, down chorus, and turn around. Up at one third for medium chorus, turn around, down bridge, and vamp. Up to two thirds for interlude, instrumental, and medium bridge, and all the way up for a big bridge and for your vamp. Remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you'll have song section control all the way down. You'll be playing octaves in your left hand, and then you'll be playing a lead part in your right hand. Now this lead part is going to come back in the verses, as well as in a few turnarounds and an interlude. So I'm gonna go ahead and go pretty in depth to show you how to play this part. So right hand, this is how it's gonna go. Now the left hand actually plays the first couple notes of this melody, and you'll hear this motif going on through a lot of this part. But there are also right hand parts that play above it. So the way that I like to handle this is I play it with right hand to start and then I let left hand continue with it. So I'll just go ahead and show you what it sounds and I'll continue to break down right hand for you. Now because ideally you want to hear this little motive, you'll want to play right hand as lightly as possible in order to do that. So this may take a little bit of practice. This is going to be more challenging on a semi-weighted keyboard like I have here than it would be on a fully weighted keyboard, but you'll want to listen and see how you want to balance out the left hand and the right hand here playing these parts. Now there's also a couple different ways that you can play right hand and I like to kind of mix it up as I'm playing so you hear different notes sort of pop out as you go. So here's how you can do this. So for our first chord of the progression, it looks like this. So generally what I like to do is with right hand I like to do these first two notes and then I'm shifting my hand. And you can play it with this note first or this note first. So I like to add in this note at the end. And I 
I am switching my hand part way. So if you've never done that before, you may need to practice that. Now you could also leave that, that note out if you wanted. Now you could also just play this with your right hand. So there's going to be lots of ways that you can sort of adapt and make it what you would like. Okay, so for the second chord, it's going to be primarily these two notes. And because of where the left hand note is placed, you can play this all at one time. Now sometimes I like to do it exactly the same throughout this one. You also have the choice to mix it up so that it sounds sort of varied. Here's what that sounds like. And here it is even. And here's how it sounds if I accent left hand a little bit more. All right, and then our third chord is on the sixth minor and you can play it basically the same as the first chord. I like to just keep the notes down here. I don't play um, that third note of the scale there. So you will have to jump that left hand down here. So it is a little bit of a jump. Right, and then for the last one on the four, you can reach if your hands are larger. If your hands are smaller, you'll still have to do a little bit of a jump with the right hand. But the way that I like to do this one is to just uh, try to reach. And then for this one, you're gonna have these notes. So again, you can do Or you can mix it up like we did on the second chord. So here's both hands with that one. Okay, so now I'm gonna play through the whole intro slowly. Alright, so similar part is going to come back for a turnaround that will happen first after a chorus and then again after another chorus. This turnaround is just going to be the first two bars on the one of your key. So you can pretty much play it the same way. I like to play this first turnaround exactly the same way. Remember, you can keep it a little bit simpler and not add in that note. All right, and then for the next turnaround, I like to just use these two notes. So similar, but a little different. All 
All right, and then the full intro version comes back as an interlude. This interlude is gonna go twice. So for this interlude, you're gonna bring song section control now up to two thirds. So you'll have more pads and sounds coming in, but you'll play the parts the same way in the right hand. For your verse, you'll be playing this the exact same way as the intro. So if you would like to see me break it down a little bit more and play through it really slowly, showing you how to play all of those parts, go ahead and go back to the intro section of the tutorial. I'm just going to go ahead and play through this one time for one of the verses at speed. This verse will come back again after a chorus and a turnaround, but you'll play all the verses the exact same way with song section control all the way down and just playing those lines. So again, if you need to review and see it slowed down, go ahead and check out the intro part of the tutorial. For the pre-chorus, you'll have song section control all the way down and you'll just be playing octaves in left hand and a little bit of a melody in the right hand. So here's hands together. So here's how I do right hand. Okay, one more time, hands together. And this pre-chorus will come back again after another set of verses and you'll play it the same way. Song section control all the way down and that same line. For your down chorus, you'll have song section control all the way down. In the left hand, you'll be playing some octaves or some just a single note down here. And then right hand will be playing a piano line. So first I'll show you hands together. So here's the right hand by itself. So it's just following the melody and that's the same for the first two chords and for the next chord. Here's hands together again, and left hand can just kind of pulse on the chord. Now 
Now feel free to add in if you want the thumb a little bit. It kind of happens on the end of six. And it's just sort of mixed in little places. So if you want to add that, feel free to add it. Now your medium chorus is going to be played the exact same way. I play the parts exactly the same. I like to bring song section control to one third. You're going to bring in some more pads and sounds. So go ahead and play through this one time. Now the next chorus is also a medium chorus here with song section control at one third, but this time I like to move my right hand up and now I'm gonna do octaves. So here's how I like to play right hand for this part. I'll do that again. So left hand will be playing octaves here and you'll want to just be pulsing on left hand so now instead of you'll be adding in all six beats. Your final chorus will be a down chorus. Now you can bring it all the way down to zero if you want to just have that piano and light pad. I like to have it just at one third so you have a little bit more of the pads and atmosphere happening. Here's how I like to do right hand. So right hand is going to be most similar to the part from the second medium chorus with the octaves, but instead of playing the octaves, you'll play it just in the middle here. So here's hands together for this. For the bridge, you'll have song section control up one third. And the first time through the bridge, I like to just play some chords. So you can play these however you want. I add in a little bit of piano melody here and there. So I'll play it hands together first and then I'll show you just the right hand. So 
here's the right hand chords. Okay, one more time together. Now for the second time through the bridge, I like to start to add in a little bit of a different melody and do a bit of a thumb pulse on the left hand. So here's hands together first. So this pulse that I add in is some on the off beats and some on the beats. So it's So that right hand is like this. Here it is, hands together. All right, and then for the last bridge, you'll still keep song section control here at one third. This time, you'll be matching the melody, but you'll be playing it with single notes. So here's both hands together. Okay, so you can hear the the first couple times we're matching that vocal melody and then we're bringing in that other part from the previous bridge. So here's the right hand again. Hands together one more time. And the left hand here is pulsing. You kind of heard left hand doing both of those things. All 
right, so the bridge is gonna come back another final time, a big bridge. Right before that happens, there's an instrumental that's gonna be the same chord progression as the bridge to kind of set it up. So you'll now have song section control up at two thirds. Now this mostly has a guitar line in there, but I have a little part that I like to play, kind of keep it simple, but start adding to the momentum before the big bridge. So here's how I like to play it. So I'm gonna move my hand up here now to where the lead part is. And I'll show you what it sounds like hands together first. So I'm just playing it like this. One more time, hands together. And then you'll move into your big bridge. And for this one, you will play similar parts to that previous bridge and instrumental. But now what you'll do is you'll bring it to the highest octave. And I'll show you what this sounds like. All right, so here's just right hand. And then right at the end of that big bridge, you're gonna hold it out for an extra bar. That's gonna be the vamp before going back into a final down chorus. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for main stage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys and all our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for main stage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out the song specific patch. I'm Joy with Sunday Sounds. We'll see you next time.